I haven't done a video on team instructions in quite a while. Today, I'm going to explain with, and I'm going to explain it with focus play. I'm going to try and show you how with and focus play can give you some options when you create your tactics. <music> My name, my name, my name is Daljit. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the channel. This is the place where I do shorter form guides where I try and explain certain tactical concepts in the game football manager. Now, if you want to ask me more detailed questions or you want to just join me on a live stream, I also do that three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays over on another channel that's called BTN Life. Yes, I've changed the name. When you go into the game of football manager, you've got team instructions like attacking with influences how far away the players stand from each other and also tend to encourage passes in that area. So the wider you are, the further away they are from each other and your passes tend to be more focused towards the flanks as well. When you play with a narrow attacking width, it's the reverse. Focus play, on the other hand, is something different. Focus play encourages players to shift their positioning so that they are closer to the area of focus. This applies to central midfielders. So whenever you are playing with a focus play in a certain area of the pitch, central midfielders will tend to shift towards that area to support the focus. In the middle, if you set the focus play to the middle, to the left if it's on the left, and to the right if it's on the right. To understand the impact of width and those focus play instructions, what we're going to do is start a game on fantasy draft mode where I get two different teams to play with tactics that I've chosen. And I will make adjustments to show you the differences and the impact changes to width and focus play. We've got a 4 3 3 here, played with an in advanced forward, inside forward, central midfield on attack, two wing backs. We've got no underlaps or overlaps. All we've got is a focus play to the middle. The team is playing fairly wide and slightly more direct with slightly higher tempo. So the other tactic will be just a 4 4 2 diamond, very basic 4 4 2 diamond, AP, PF on attack, uh, advanced forward, a box to box of Mazala. They don't have any funky TIs and TIs. Uh, and then uh, we're telling this team to focus play to the middle. The only difference is we're telling this team to play with the narrows or with the highest of tempos. They're playing high up the pitch. Uh, the whole idea here is for them to try a lot of quick passes in the center of the pitch. So we've got two teams here. We're going to play this on 2D to see their spatial uh, positions on the pitch. So we've got the 4 3 the 4-4-2 diamond, as you can see, the wing backs are positioned relatively narrow. The 4-4-4-3-3 is trying to win the ball here. They are playing with narrow defensive width. The wing back has the ball. He plays it out to the inside forward, uh, the box to box. He goes long for the CM on attack. He's trying to find a player near the third. Uh, the wing back has the ball again, uh, and they get into the box. There's plenty of pressure, but remember this, the 4-3-3 is trying to focus play through the middle. So we want to see a bit of that happening in the game. When I'm playing focus play instructions like this, this is a 4-3-3. It is extremely wide. It's playing on a slightly direct and slightly higher tempo. The players are positioned wider. There is a strong possibility if they don't keep the ball or find the pass, he gets intercepted. Then that 4-4-2 diamond is going to run rampant through the middle because it's got a lot of players in the center. The 4 3 3 is out looking to stretch this team. He's got the ball. The DM plays it to the CM on attack. The DM still has the ball. He finds the wing back. The wing back plays it back to the DM. They look for opportunities, but nobody is playing a killer ball. There's a reason why that's happening. We're not playing hit early crosses. Wing backs are going to go to the byline. If I want to try and get those passes in, I need to make a change. So I'll have to come in here, hit the early cross. I could play pass into space as well. It's a bit more risky. This means that a lot of players are going to be trying those kind of passes. Now, we haven't added something like underlaps. Now, if I were to play with an underlap, then the widest player is going to look for runs happening on the inside. It's a great way to get third man running. So you can actually take advantage of the third man arriving late inside the box. So if you have players who have uh, gets into opposition area, especially if they're CM on attack, they become a very potent goal scoring threat. Um, Benzema usually I like playing it with two players. Uh, Rafinha gets a corner. Oh, we actually scored a goal. Yes, I have a video on how you can set up your attacking corner routines as well. So you know, go check that one out too if you are struggling to score goals from corners. Because that doesn't seem to be an issue for me in the game. 
So we got a goalkeeper is playing out from defense. This is one of the best times to check out your setup of your tactic because it will show you the relative positions of your players across the pitch. Right now, we've got the wing back with the ball. Now, if he plays, the, he, he pushes up high, he's going to look for passes inside, right? But if the pass does go to the DM because we're playing focus straight to the middle, we sh I should expect this guy to come closer and this guy to come closer as well to lend support. So we've got the wing back on the ball. As you can see, the shift, the slight shift the DM makes. Um, the box-to-box uh, -box player has got uh, is coming to try and help out, but most likely De Lorenzo is going to go down the line. Yeah, he does that. Back to the box-to-box. -box. As you can see, he's going to support the play. Uh, but we had the focus play to the middle, but the attack quickly switches because we're using a combination of high width because width in itself is an instruction that tells your players to look out wide for those, those passes. So we, as the winger gets the ball, he goes down the flank down, he's paying attention to his role. We're putting a lot more pressure on this opposition. Now, there are some people that might want to use the focus play instruction. Now, here, if I were to use the focus play, it becomes a bit of an issue. Now, here I've got a focus play through the middle, which makes these three work as a unit. Now, if I were to go and add a focus play, maybe down the left, what it's going to do is these three players are now going to work as a unit themselves because instead of just these three, what's going to happen is whenever the ball moves towards the left, this midfielder is going to come here to support play. This midfielder might come here to support play. This midfielder might move into the center slightly. And as a result, you open space up on the other side of the pitch. Of course, then somebody might say, well, then do both. All right, the focus play is now up. We got pass into space. We got extremely wide setups. We're playing slightly more direct, slightly higher tempo. We're dribbling less. We're taking a lot of chances with our passes. If I were to play something like this with focus play down the left and the right, I mean, naturally, I'm going to see a lot of opportunities down the flanks. But I've got to be very careful of the center. We have three players in the middle. I've got a reasonably good DM. I've got a reasonably good box-to-box -box midfielder. I'm expecting them to be able to hold the fort. But if we do lose the ball in transition, there's a strong possibility the opposition is going to score through the middle. It's important to understand how focus play and width work together. Width encourages your players to stand further apart. It also encourages players to look for passes in those areas. Now, focus play encourages your players to come closer towards the side of the focus. So your central midfielders are going to come closer to the left if your focus is on the left, to the right if the focus is on the right, and to the center if the focus is in the middle. So whenever you create your tactics, that width setting is going to influence the spaces that you leave whenever you apply a focus instruction. Focus play happens to be one of the harder instructions in the game to master because you've got to take into consideration width, you've got to take into consideration roles and duties. So don't knock yourself over if you struggle initially. For some formations, it's relatively straightforward. A 4-3-1-2 focus play through the middle can give you a lot of control of central areas of the pitch. For systems that might want to create a lot more pressure down the flanks, perhaps you want to consider focus play on the left or on the right or maybe on both sides. Well, the next time you sink into the game of football manager, just think of how attacking with and focus play can help your tactics out. It may not be easy the first time because it's new. However, the longer you play with the game, the more you get accustomed to these instructions and sometimes they can mean the difference in how you can open up a stubborn defense. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show and found it useful. If you have any more questions for me, you know where to find me. Meanwhile, please stay safe, take care of each other. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.